Olá, bom dia, boa tarde outra vez a todos. Começávamos então aqui esta nossa massa de classe. Eu fazia só uma pequena introdução da Olga Baulina, que vai falar um pouco da experiência dela e eu penso que será bastante interessante para vocês, dado como vocês reparam também é uma senhora relativamente jovem e que já tem um percurso relativamente grande no cinema de animação e que tem um percurso que é um pouco como todos nós, não é? Começou na escola, onde vocês estão agora e neste momento está a realizar uma longa metragem. Daí que eh, podem ver que facilmente dentro de 5 ou 6 ou 10 anos, no máximo, vocês poderão estar também a realizar a vossa primeira longa metragem. Um, I was uh, introducing you very fast. I suppose it's better <laughs> that you talk a little bit more about you. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you very much for coming. Also, thank Miguel you. Carradas, that, that makes this uh, introducing <laughs> to you and to the school. Um, I'd love to say also to everybody that she works, she was a student and she works with the, one of the great directors in the world of animation, Igor Kovalyov. Um, and uh, if you are uh, with attention with some of my classes, I already present The Milk, the, yeah. that's one of these masterpieces. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, it's a pleasure for us to have you with you here Thank with you. us. Spasiba for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello to everyone. I am one of the director of the Future Lens animated film Alice Knows What to Do. Before becoming as an animator, I worked for many years as an. Uh, uh, be before becoming as director, I worked for many years as an animator. I worked in different areas, in computer games, commercials, films, and of course in cartoons. And uh, I want to ask you about why do you want to make animation? Do you know why? And maybe, maybe you know, but uh, when I start learning animation, uh, when I'm being a child, my, like most kids, I loved to watch cartoons, uh, but as I became older, I stopped watching because I uh, think that cartoons for kids. And I want to become a scientist. I, <laughs> yeah, I have an analytical mind and I am good in exact science. But when I went to the college to study as a writer engineer, uh, I realized that I, that, that I don't want to do it. Uh, I went to college, oh, so I... I because, so I left college. Uh, for me, it was a period of very difficult choices. After some time, I realized that I did the right thing. If you feel that you are going wrong way, you don't afraid be extreme changes. I want, um, I listened to myself and understood that I'd like to do something connected with drawing. As a child, I loved to draw, but I didn't know how to do it. Uh, I haven't not studied it and didn't spend much time drawing. I accidentally found an animation college. The college didn't require strong colleges of classical drawing, and only why requirement was a desire to study. I wanted it, and after, I've never been regretted about it. <laughs> Before I found out about this college, I had no idea the animator profession exists. From the first class of animation, I realized that exactly what I need because, because animation combines deep analysis and creativity. First, uh, you observe the movement, then you analyze it, 
separate on the main pauses, and then recreate it. Will audience believe in movement you created for this object or person depends only on you. I began to look at the people around me, how they move. All time I analyzed uh, the movement. I wanted to find out the core. In that time I started to practice martial arts. I learned new unusual movements. They explained me where the impulse of the heat is born. Martial arts helped me understood movement of human body. What I mean is uh, uh, the, uh, the sports or dance that improve your body flexibility or coordination are very helpful to understand the movement in, a, in animation. When you feel body, you better understand uh, the movement. But the study was not easy for me. We are taught classical animation, so we draw a lot on paper. Still drawing was not my strong point. In addition to the lessons of classical drawing, uh, of classical drawing, we have a lot of uh, sketches. We, we did a lot of sketches. Uh, doing with sketches, you learn how to catch the main pose. It's uh, very important for animation to draw the right, a good uh, base uh, pose of movement. Without right main pose, there is no good movement. The quick sketches is very helpful. Also, we have been taught history of cinema, where we watch independent animation movie. Independent films are distinguishable by their content and style, and the way in which the filmmaker's uh, personal artistic vision is realized. So it was a great, uh, so it was a great discovery. Uh, for the first time, I saw cartoons that were not for children. I saw animation movie like an art as a way of self-expression. Discovering for myself the independent animation, I've been dreaming to make my own cartoon. But I studied as an animator, not as a director. I understood I wasn't ready for making my animation movie. I felt I missed something. In college, we were told and, uh, to become an animator, you will need to walk out from three or five years in animation industry. At that time, it seemed to me that it's very long time. <laughs> so, so I graduated from the college, did a degree, and become an animator. My first uh, work was on TV series. They were, in, uh, they were made in classical technology. We drew animation on paper and wrote post number in Expo list for the cameraman. When cameraman reads Expo list, it becomes clear how to shoot action. I think you know this technology. For example, uh, this shot, uh, of course, it's not uh, for the time when I learned. It's the shot from a uh, new film of Igor Kovalev, uh, Before Love. I made it last year. It's, for example, if uh, someone don't know the classical animation, it's only main pause without the pause between. Uh, so, in fact, my real study of animation started on this job, my first job. Uh, college gave me only general theoretical principles. On my first job, I finally learned how to draw because I had uh, to do about 40, 60 drawings every day. Uh, when you draw an animation, it's necessary to imagine the motion in three dimensions to construct it into space. Without the specific skills and training to do it, it's not easy. We had to redo the same shot many times. I repeated this practice every day for two years. 
all the main basic principles of animation uh, motion, motion along axe, uh, anticipation, pose to pose section, slow in, slow down, timing, exaggeration. Uh, so I did the shot and then I got comments on it. I had the correct movement in my shot. Comments were very uh, detailed with explanation and drawings. I had good teachers, professional animators with large experience. And also I realized uh, that it's uh, uh, what these principles. Uh, also I realized that to keep focus is a very important skill for animator. Uh, it's uh, difficult to sit still for a long time, staying extremely focused on what you are doing. But if you are in in inspired by the idea of, of you, what you want to do, time flies. I like what I was doing. At the same time, I did not feel that I became an animator. I have only studied animation. Perhaps I had to go on the classical animation, but there was a crisis in Russia and the studio closed. So at that time, game industry, game industry and commercials began to grow, but those areas used mostly 3D animation. There was not plenty of professional an animator in computer graphic, they were mostly self-taught and uh, did animation without the basic knowledge of animation. So the demand for the professional animators who are working in 3D animation was very high. I was hired uh, into a large game company with no experience in 3D animation. They thought that learning software is not uh, is not as difficult as learning animation principles. It turned out true. I learned my software, also software uh, during first few weeks. It's not uh, difficult. The most difficult part was to get used to create, uh, uh, to get used to character in 3D space. Constantly you, you had to look through virtual cameras on your character from on directions. It's important to set up correct position in, in all dimensions. Only in that case, the software will calculate paths between poses correctly and move, movements will seem right. Animation principles remain the same. The only difference is, is in instrument. So it, it took some time to learn the particular new skill. After that, I continued my studies as an animator. Again, I was lucky with the teachers. I worked with very professional animator and talented artist. He already had a large experience in animation. He gave me accurate comments to my work. He said what I should do be correct and why. When I fix it, the movement started looking much better and much more natural. I've been taking videos for references. Um, it's very important uh, references. Uh, that's what I advise to do. You will see how interesting and useful it is. Today, when we all have camera in our photos, taking references is not a problem. In game, I made movement sets for characters. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, this is a short animation with duration between 20 and 100 frames. Video is usually 25 frames per second. Uh, they includes animation like run, walk, breathe, etc. For example, oh, oh sorry, uh, come on back, back, back.
this. I may uh, to to oh. oh okay thank you thank you very much for example this one walk run and jump for example fight hit hit fall down stand up and dance like like this, similar to this. It's not from the game. It's uh, now we may we make a project with uh, animation similar to the game animation. It's example from this project from feature films. But uh, in the game similar. During three years of my game industry experience. I mastered all the basic principle of animation. I didn't now, uh, in that time, I didn't need a lot of time to create an animation. I could uh, make a movement quickly, in, uh, quickly. If you make the same animation again and again, you don't need time to analyze and think about movement. You just know how to do it. You have the whole scheme in your mind. Again and again. <laughs> so, uh, so also when you do the same animation set on different characters, computer game, there are different um, characters. It greatly improves your imagination. All movements have to be uh, made with a different manner, different weight. Some characters don't e exist in nature. Uh, we must figure out how it could move. For example, an angel or a griffin or naga or some insects. Uh, when I create animation easily and quickly, I was promoted to animation supervisor. Animation supervisor gives comments to the work of other animators. For a while it was fun, but then it became a routine. I wanted to move on and learn new things. I was not sure that I could make my personal uh, cartoon. So I changed job and began working in the studio, which engaged in production for computer graphics and commercial in cinema, commercials and cinema. I started work as an animator, uh, animation supervisor. Uh, I would comment other animators' work, saying what they should change to improve it. But that time I already knew how to create movement, but acting out emotions and facial expression for characters was new for me. So I began to study again. There are many books about human behavior and facial expressions. It's great and you should use it. For example, the psychology book that I bought described how the human nature affected the way person looks how it affected his clothing, walking, gesture. You should also observe your family, friends, and people on the street to notice the interesting features of their behavior. Uh, references is everywhere. You just uh, have to focus and formulate the questions. Uh, main source today is, of course, internet. They can find libraries with facial expression of actors, ordinary people, so cartoon characters. You, call, uh, you can also take expressions from feature films. This is especially helpful if the nature of an animated character is similar to the actor which, which you have chosen. It's necessary to, uh, to use these references if you want your character animation to be believable and unique. At that time, I had large experience in animation, about six years. I quickly learned how to make convincing emotions and acting 
but there was another area that became interesting for me. The production of commercials must be done very quickly with maximum quality and small amount of people. The less is better. That's why an expert who worked in commercials can, uh, does fu uh, can do full production cycle. So I had the opportunity to learn a profession related to animation. And, and I learned how to create 3D models in Maya and set up. Uh, I was usually self-learning of my free time. Of course, I couldn't make uh, complicated characters as our professional models and riggers would do, but I learned the basics. I understood reasons of why one character can look more appealing than another, why I can make beautiful plastic poses and the other is so clumsy and awkward. There is nothing you can do to improve it. How I had the opportunity, uh, now I had the opportunity to speak with modelers and riggers on their language. Uh, and uh, this is uh, examples uh, of my animation for the commercials. This. We made commercials. <laughs> Studied, uh, st studied rigging, uh, yes, about uh, rigging and model modeling. Uh, so, about study the relations with animation profession, uh, about rigging. When you expand knowledge outside your specialization, you gain artistic freedom. It's become easy to find out, uh, to find suitable solution for each new task. One day the studio started developing a new project about alien frogs. These frogs would talk and uh, have human emotions. It was able to, pro I was able to propose a method that I have already tried on a character. It, uh, it was a Jason Osipo method, pretty known system. Uh, I liked uh, its approach to a face setup. It analyzed all the variety of facial expression and invents a very simple scheme. I was impressed by the simplicity of the system which is based on the fact of basic of facial muscle movement. I couldn't do setup for a character because models were too complex for a beginner. So I proposed the system, this system. 
I knew that if I have a model that is configured on this system, I can animate it, uh, this phase very quickly. Uh, I did it a lot animation in incredibly short period of time. It looked unreal for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, the film, this film that I show, uh, the film was never released, but I got a very good experience in facial animation. So these shots from this film, these frogs, <laughs> the actors sit in the costumes, and uh, we... Well, what should we do with them? These guys, with their unrecognizable energy, they put them into the galaxy. Why did they not get out of here? 3D only the face. Это состояние в социуме и отрицательные импульсы Земли прекратятся. Вселенная вздохнется облегчением. Привет, дай им все, что они хотят, все, о чем мечтают. Ни на что они не способны. Обреченный вид. Дохлый номер. Да. Знаешь, Ровка, зачем тебе это надо? Инструкция, командир. И потом мой дальний предок с этой планеты. Когда-то эмигрировал в составе подопытного материала. Я нашел его в базе данных. Анимация uh, для future films was its specifics, despite cartoons, where characters make exaggerated moment, moments. Film characters should look absolutely realistic. Uh, they shouldn't look different from the background of life actors. Uh, they should not destroy the illusion of life. They act in the shot is required by the story. Uh, for example, this animation I made for, made for the feature films, Wolfhound, and at the end, uh, the um, film Night Watch. In this film, I made bed. After all these years, I finally learned to do animation in any style, limited for the games, classical cartoons, realistic for the movie. I was able to do both physical and advanced psychological uh, animation. I, start, uh, I started with the related specialization. I still had idea to make 
personal animation movie. I wrote the scripts, did characters and began to, to make animatics, but still felt that it wouldn't not uh, be interesting. Something was still missing. I realized that I wanted to learn directing, but I couldn't take special courses or get into the educational institution. I did not have so much free time. So once again, when I needed to learn something new, I would go straight into production. Having uh, spent many years as an animator supervisor, I had a lot of experience dealing with people and teamwork. Animation supervisor partly solved the problems as a director. One takes responsibility for the quality of animation. One says how to fix animation and communicate with the related animation departments. Besides, a good animator is a director of his small piece. So I went to the studio that was developing a project called Martian Beer. Now it's well known all over the world. I think you know this mm -hmm. TV series. So I think yes, I'm actually used to the video. I'm actually used to this episode. I returned to where I started my career, but now I was a professional animator and wanted to move on. I wanted to become a director. I had. I had not quite understood the director's task, but understood the director is in the due to telling story. The director builds the basis of the film. He also imagined the world and makes the audience believe in it. Uh, creating your world was the most exciting thing for me. Sadly, on TV series, the world was invented before me, so I hid my words for the future. After some times, project leader gave me an episode to direct Alek Kuzavkov. I grateful to the creator uh, the, uh, for the create uh, the series Marsh and Beer uh, that uh, they gave me the chance. I bump into the many challenges because I was also responsible for the episode deadlines and quality. It was all very exciting, but at the same time, it pushed me to study as quickly as possible. Working with virtual cameras and cutting story on the plants was completely new for me. Usually, the director gives uh, to animator a shot with correct camera and right composition of characters in the frame. Director explains animator what he want to see in this shot. I should have learned how to tell story, how to, uh, to edit it on the footage with the correct composition and right timing. It's very hard, uh, but exciting. Uh, you may learn to, to do it uh, all your life because uh, there is infinite number of ways to tell story. That's why we have movies done in different manners and types. We also have movies for big audience and movies for professions and for intellectuals. It's not uh, only about what the story you tell, but how you tell the story. First, you read the script, then imagine story in your head, then break story in the shots. It's necessary to decide whether you use the close-up for emotions or maybe medium shot for reaction or maybe long shot often uh, that used in establishing shot. You create a rhythm of movie. The rhythm is very important, especially in animation. Proper rhythm catch the audience. I began to learn editing. I was lucky because TV series Marsh and Bear had very simple cameras and editing. I learned uh, to how put a simple composition on static cameras. 
After my second episode, I realized I really like directing. From now, I wanted to work only as a director. Problem was I didn't feel the style of Marsha and Bear. I wasn't so professional that I could work in any style. I decided to quit this project. And again, I was very, very lucky because I got a job in Basilev studio and they started production of new series, uh, new series uh, called Alice Knows What To Do. This is the project I'm working on right now. Alisa was made in genre that I have always liked, sci-fi and adventure. This cartoon was designed mostly for teenagers, but the advantage of this project became its uh, creative director, Igor Kovalev. Igor Kovalev spent 20 years in the United States, mainly working for the studio Klaski Chupa, Maybe you know this studio. He has participated in many projects as, uh, such as the famous TV series Ach Real Monsters and The Rugrats and also The Rugrats movie. In addition to, the, uh, to his experience, uh, in addition to that, uh, his independent films received top prizes at uh, renowned international festivals. It's a unique filmmaker who works equally well in commercials in an independent animation. I don't know any other director that can be successful in both areas. Commercials and independent animation was completely different goals. For commercials animation, it's very important to be understandable for the, to the audience. It's necessary to make a cartoon that huge audience will love. As for the independent animation, it's close, closer to art. Work, uh, working on it, you don't, uh, you don't care about the viewer. It's a way of self-expression. It was a great chance for me to learn uh, from the master. Igor Kovarev directed first episode of the show. He created editing style, cameras motion, and animation style. For example, cameras in our movie are closer to feature film cameras. They are very active and constantly moving. In the short plans, they can be aggressive, a little bit aggressive. These cameras and editing would not normally do in the TV series. This is very uh, time consuming. TV series must be done quickly with minimal means. We choose a very difficult path. path. At first it seems impossible to do a show with a such high quality. Moreover, we have series uh, 20, uh, we have series 24 episodes with duration 26 minutes. It was unbelievable, but we made it. Uh, for example, uh, this episode that I made, it was a, a second. <laughs> it was a second my episode. Uh, Next, uh, it's episode name, The Game Without Rules. And I had the opportunity to change the script a little bit, shift the focus, and I write uh, some dialogues. I wanted to make Alice's adventures dangerous and scary so that audience related to her character for this is example of this episode Ну и хранилище Из-за 
будут менее через две минуты. А теперь куда? Опять вниз. Ну, я... Алиска! On this episode, finally, I have the opportunity to create my personal world, world on my dreams. Of course, I had some limitations, but still I was following my imagination. For example, I desired uh, these elevators, they can move in all directions. It looked like dark, mysterious on the surface, a little bit like medieval dungeons. I wanted to create a, a, a sense of mystery and unknown. Должна быть устранена. Арик, лови! Я думаю, можно приступать. Странно, что не видно доктора Малого Велика. Что со мной? Алиса! Алиса, где ты? Алиса! Алиса! Alisa! A little bit scary, but at the end all will be okay. This is my next episode, some example. A little bit scary too. I think I love scary story. Подождем. <laughs> Селги уйдут, приберемся к лифтам и в хранилище. А, кто здесь? Спасите, помогите! Молчи. Оно там, в темноте. Похоже, оно само нас боится. This creature eats uh, memory, memory from from the old, from the ancient history. Lisa, еще и вы тут бегите отсюда! Я из вас уничтожу! А я с тобой. Я разочаровался в любви и верю только в тебя. Episode I like 
the most because the story uh, we discuss with right and the story about a crazy scientist uh, Alice and her friend are get in trouble because of their curiosity. The adventure happens uh, on the mysterious asteroid. They get caught by the mad scientist. He's very smart, but uh, very insecure because of his childhood trauma. He is looking for perfection and wants to do everything perfect by making artificial bodies for people. Guys are trying to explain him that it's wrong, but he doesn't listen. He turns out, uh, I tell you what you will, sh uh, will, will see, because it's an um, uh, example when I, when I uh, tell this story by using animation, my animation skills. Mm. So he turns out atmosphere and friends are losing oxygen. Alice, Alisa and Arik think, uh, think they are going to die, but support each other with jokes. Scientists listen to them, remember this, his childhood abuse. He thinks like all people, they abuse each other even before the death. Alisa says it's not, it's not abuse, we are joking with each other. Then Alice and Eric say to each other that perfection is when they are together. They grab hands to be less scared before death. I walk in, uh, looking at the true friendship, crazy scientist realized he was wrong. He turn, out, uh, turn on atmosphere, Alice and Arik come back to life. Uh, he lets them go, they ask him to return to Earth with them. Uh, he agrees and laughs for the first time in his life. It, uh, it was very interesting for me how to show turning evil character to good. How was it possible to tell this story? Uh, I asked the writer to write the story of humanity. What does it mean to be a human? Did he stay human when he changed his body to a robot body? Probably idea is not in, in this episode aren't for the kids, but uh, children would enjoy all the fun action. So let's see. Я знаю, как сделать человека совершенным. Small path from вот this когда episode. я вернусь на землю... Он уже не вернется. Вот. Монстра! Наш друг! Приспешник врубился! Ай!
воздух уходит. Гребем к приборам. Ничего не сделать. Там все на Филиппа настроено. Арик, я боюсь. Я тоже, но хорошо хоть тут нет. Лехи, махи, натахи. Каждый же в чем-то крут, а все вместе совершенство. Ну, ты так круче всех. Гений не задача. Ой-ой, кто бы говорил, шила в попе. Людишки, даже перед смертью друг над другом издеваетесь. Мы не издеваемся, а шутим и не прячемся. Под супер совершенным костюмчиком. Соткните нас, лягушки подопытные! Вы вернули атмосферу? Я решил пересмотреть свои научные взгляды. Убирайтесь, я вас не держу. Знаю, я людям противен. Не, киборги, это прикольно. Летите уже на землю, вас там все ждут. А вы с нами? Все в восторге будут, когда вернется гений кибернетики. Кстати, о кибернетике. Помните строчку в прошивке роботов с координатами? И что? От нее Алискин робот сошел с ума. Только вы можете помочь, Филипп. Вы же великий Филипп Салека, которым гордится Земля. А не монстр совершенства. С приспешниками. Что? Приспешники не нравятся? А кто нам звездолеты починит, чтобы на землю лететь? There is no school that I could, uh, could give me as much as I learned working on all projects. The best way to learn something, especially in animation, is to work in production. Finally, I feel the strength to make my personal cartoon. I see and feel it. I know how to tell the story using my animation skills. I prepared the presentation of my project and our producer submit my project for the government support. I hope I will make my uh, independent, independent animation movie very soon. My study of animation spreads on all fields of this profession. I continue to learn. I am watching festi uh, festival and popular films reading professional books and good literature, going on a, to an art exhibition, museums, concerts. I am looking for art that inspires, that gives me ideas for my work. It's impossible to draw the line when you learn and then you are professional. Borders are blurred. As uh, sta uh, stated in one of the Eastern Wisdom, if a man said uh, that he is a master, he is dead. I completely agree with this. We grow as we learn something. So, thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you.
se alguém quer fazer alguma pergunta, quer aproveitar. <risos> Thank you. fazer um projeto final agora, para ter este projeto que ela está a fazer. Isso é drone para mim? Não, just picture. She's asking if you made something um, that is it's um, it's not the the, the 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 right the way that you you was teaching in the school. If you made something in another direction, and if you feel it good with that, and if you learn it because of that, or normally what you learn in the school is important as a base. Uh, when I learn, when what I learn in school, uh, no, I learn in my job, in in project, I learn in different projects. You learn, you learn more doing by yourself than in the school. But by by the projects. By the project. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I. For myself, I didn't, uh, not much, not many things for myself. Just, I don't have free time mm. for doing for myself. But o que tu perguntaste era, no fundo, se o que ela aprende com os professores, ou o que aprendeu em termos da escola, se teve que sempre seguir esse caminho, não é? Só alguma vez saiu desse caminho e procurou outras alternativas Sim, do processo criativo, por exemplo. Se alguma vez aconteceu, por Resumindo um pouco pelo que eu tenho falado com ela, claramente sim. Aliás, ela acha que a escola deu apenas competências para trabalhar de forma muito superficial com as ferramentas. Toda a aprendizagem dela passa pela produção, passa pela a fazer. produção, a fazer. E aí os inputs depois que ela acaba por receber têm muito a ver com as necessidades também dos guiões, de ser um comercial, de ser uma história. Portanto, não, a escola claramente deu ferramentas de base, mas todo o outro processo foi caminhado na produção. E claramente ela agradeceu várias vezes a alguns mestres que ajudaram, foi porque, porque foi essa parte que acho que é relevante no, no, no processo de crescimento e de aprendizagem da, da Olga, é, é o, o projeto em si e nas diferentes áreas, porque isso também trouxe a capacidade ah. de criar um conhecimento totalmente diferente, desde ler livros de psicologia, questão da expressão facial, por aí e isso não se aprende na escola. 
Pois, tens que estar sempre a ver e a dizer. Ela, de qualquer modo, na escola, ela dizia uma coisa que também foi importante, não é? Aquela coisa dela ter sido obrigada a desenhar pelo menos 30 a 50 desenhos por dia, a desenhar aquilo que olhava, a tomar mais atenção às coisas que via, não é? E depois até chegar a esta fase agora, que ela está enquanto diretora, realizadora, não é? O facto dela ter passado por várias áreas, até chegar à conclusão, especialmente quando ela começou a realizar os, os episódios dela, não era aquele estilo que eu queria que ela queria fazer, a Masha e o Urso, por exemplo, não era aquilo, mas era aquilo que ela queria fazer, o que ela queria fazer era ser diretora, não era daquele tipo de filmes, mas era, era o que ela queria era realizar, no fundo. Mas foi um pouco em cada projeto, foi aprendendo um bocadinho, ou seja, pronto, é a fazer. Aliás, claramente, nessa questão ela não vai encontro, ou não se sente realizada por isso. Não, thank you. Ou com os outros desejos, mas claramente ela quer criar a, a sua linha, o seu caminho, a sua identidade, Exato. a animação. Até porque ela, acho que não vou cometer nenhuma... <risos> não vou... Nenhuma inconfidência. Inconfidência, exatamente. <risos> mas ela claramente na animação dela vai trazer algo de pessoal que tem a ver com a vida dela portanto, isso também é o que faz muitas das vezes pegarmos nos projetos dos outros, não é? Ou nas ideias dos outros e não é a nossa identidade que está lá e claramente ela quer criar a sua série onde possa ter o seu punho a sua imagem a sua personagem portanto, acho que isso não se aprende na escola Sorry. <laughs> thank you, thank you for, for translate. Translate. Thank you. Não sei se querem fazer mais alguma pergunta em termos de software que é utilizado. Uh, which problem? Pro ah, program. Program. Software. Uh, I know only Maya. No, no I, I know soft image, but uh, soft image is not used now. Used no, mm, no more. I know Maya. I think Maya is the better software for animation. Vocês o Maya? É um software. Quer dizer, pelo menos conhecem o nome, não é? Um software 3D, vocês aprenderam mais no Maya ou no, no Studio Max, não foi? 3D. 3D Studio Max. In the school, they, they, they learn 3D Studio Max. That is... Similar, similar. I think. Yeah. <laughs> But Maya is more comfortable for me. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, They studied 3D modeling, create... Only for a small period, mm. yeah. It's good. Mais <laughs> perguntas? Rabot, rabot, rabot. What's your favorite movie? Cartoon? Cartoon movie? Caroline, Caroline, Caroline. <laughs> and I like uh, uh, how to drain your your dragon and uh, mm, he, he, Hero Six, huh? Hero Six, Heroes, Hero Six, Big Hero Six, yeah, yeah, Big Hero, Big Hero Six, much. Mm. You didn't like this last one that it was uh, mentioned for uh, the Oscar. Um, Big Hero Six. Mm -hmm. Big Hero. Uh -huh. Ah. This about the the man. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Inside, out. Ah, Inside yeah, out. Inside out. It's a good movie, but uh, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult theme. Yeah, I yeah, think. that's it. That's why I like it a little uh, more because of that. It's I very... suppose it was in the um, the way as it was proposed the solution for the problem. It mm -hmm. was it mm -hmm. was interesting. Uh, interesting. The argument. Si, si. Um, as a director, you must be working with a huge team of people. Uh, 
I'd like to know what you recognize if you have to put the standard in the animation. Because everyone, everybody has a different way to animate and to draw. And I'd like to know how do you manage it. No, director is not a manager. He um, describes people how they can do the shot. They tell them um, what, what uh, they can do only. Manager is near, <laughs> near so around, around the director that uh, watch the deadlines and uh, not the producer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> manager. Uh, I create uh, uh, animatic. I, I create animatic because I uh, uh, animated to. I cut the story. I uh, do editing. I do all preparing. You do for, the storyboard also? Yeah. No, no not by... Uh, not the draw. Not draw. I... In 3D, I okay, do yeah, animatic yeah. 3D. I do all preparing for animator. Then I tell them what uh, they can do, and they create this uh, this episodes yeah. that I show. And how many people? Uh, uh, few people that draw the, the characters, and then the, uh, all the team works. Uh, based on what they did? Yes, of course. Uh, our artist, uh, character, we have character artists, they draw these characters, then uh, modelers create these characters, then riggers uh, set up these characters, then animate move this, uh, different departments work in, in the studio. Uh, direct um, uh, when uh, I have new characters in my episode, I discuss with art director about these characters. I uh, tell them, tell him uh, about the behavior of these uh, characters, about uh, what uh, what these characters look like, and then. The uh, artist uh, show me sketches. I I I approve approve some of sketches, and then modelers create these characters. I was asking something. How many how many people are in your studio? Uh, now, not not many. About. When you are making a series or when you are working on a... About 40. 40. About 40 or 50. Okay. Like this. The most part all, of them, all, all department. Yeah. Um, most part of them are uh, animators? Uh, 12, 12 or 14 animators. animators. Okay. Because but, but we have a freelance. Freelance, yes, yes, yes. They come only for each uh, project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Freelance, uh, they work outside yeah. our studio. Uh, they send you the work to see and they communicate with you. And yes, yes, it. by internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe changing the freelancers or just from Russia? The freelancers? Um, from, from Russia. We, uh, we used to uh, work with China, but it's not, not good. Not good. It's, it's yeah. awful. <laughs> <laughs> communication that is in English, of course. In English, but uh, they did bad work. I was noticing, is that your personal computer? Oh, sorry. Yeah, is it your computer? Yeah. Because I'm noticing you have several games. Which, which one is your favorite? <laughs> of Warcraft, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I play with, uh, in, in this game when it started in 26. 
because I work in uh, game industry, so of course I play the game, <laughs> but not not now. Fortunately, not now, because the directing is uh, grab my old time. <laughs> all your all your mind, even in free time. <laughs> all, all my free time directing. Mais perguntas? Ok, então. Obrigado por terem vindo. Thank you very much, Olga. Thank you very much. Speech. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you wait for your new film. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>